Hi. Hi, my name's Bob Grinier, and I'm a volunteer with the Martin Fleischmann Memorial Project. So, I have total and conclusive proof that I can get things wrong. I have regularly said I may be wrong, and so don't take my word for it and go and check these things. Well, someone is paying attention, and I have to thank today Zdeniek Brzeza, a fellow person living here in the Czech Republic, for pointing out something with respect to what I've mentioned a couple of times and specifically said on the weekend with respect to Tesla's Wardenclyffe patent, this patent number 1,119,732, patented uh, 1st of December 1914. And I read through this section here, uh, and uh, in this it says that I have shown that it is practicable to produce in a resonating circuit as EABB-D immense electrical activities measured by tens and even hundreds of thousands of horsepower. And in such a case, if the points of maximum pressure should be shifted below the terminal D along coil B, a ball of fire might break out uh, and destroy the support F or anything else in its way. For the better appreciation of the nature of this danger, it should be stated that the destructive action may take place with inconceivable violence. Now, I had a fairly low resolution image of uh, the patent drawing on which I based my overlays on uh, before I quit, when I was quickly putting it together prior to ICCF 25 last year. And what I missed is that actually because I thought it was moving it down uh, below this point, I thought this was actually the D. I kind of missed that that was a D dash. And in fact, it's referred to as D. And you can see here on the actual drawing, it's definitely D dash here on this higher resolution here. And this is D. Now, the question is, where is this terminal? Is it the whole thing or is it line across here? One can imagine that it would be the line across here. And my argument was, is there's something very special going on in this area. Um, where are we? We are this area down here where this terminal is. If we overlay the sacred geometry here, we can see that this area here is where we have this disruption of matter and uh, this going on. Now, when I originally saw this, I thought that this was the key point. And indeed, it really is located at this point, you know, so that's kind of like below that key area here. Okay. Um, here is, is this point with the sacred geometry all lined up. But if you actually go to see what he says, he actually says, uh, measured by tens and even hundreds of thousands of horsepower. And in such case, if the points of maximum pressure should be shifted below the terminal D. Okay, so the maximum pressure, he's saying, doesn't make sense because I have always argued that this is falling apart. This tungsten is falling apart uh, and producing a strontium sphere here and this uh, carbon film here and matter is being pulled up into here, disassembled and pulled up to here, here with this overall yang force down here and the kind of yin and yang going on up here. This is a depressurization and you can see this very much more clearly when you are looking at the Ralkar image that I took from a video. This is depressurization. We know it's depressurization. Why? because you only see the bubbles when the water is uh, depressurized. So the bubbles then expand and then reflect the light. So the bubbles then expand and reflect the light. So this area is only where there's depressurization. I have argued that this is where there is depressurization. And so it didn't make sense to me, but you know, I ran with it and um, Zdeniek has, uh, found it wanting. And so here we go. This is a depressurization, not the maximum pressure as he talks about here. But what we do know from the Vega Valley sample here is that 
the maximum pressure is here in the chiro center. This is the point of the caduceus forcing matter into this core. It's disassembling the matter and in here, uh, it's, it's the maximum pressure in that point. But if we go in, we also know uh, that not only have we got the maximum pressure there, where that sphere, in my view, comes from, you have a substructure here, uh, which is the sacred geometry, but a fractal level below. And I'll drop that in there here. And I've, I've pasted this on the golden ratio line here. So the, the white circles here are um, the equivalent of this big white circle here. And this is the equivalent of this big white circle here. This is the center of the sacred geometry. And so what we found was that that accounts for these smaller size spheres here and this one down here. Okay, so um, this here and here are maximum points of compression for the substructure. And this is maximum point of compression from the overall n level tor. So this is n minus one level tor and this is n level tor. And all three of these, all three of these, in fact, do line up on the electrode D, this electrode D, not D dash, but D. And so if you move this down, He's saying it will create a uh, ball of fire, and this might break out and destroy the support F uh, and any other uh, thing else in its way, okay? F. So this is the support F. So one can imagine a big ball of fire will appear here and maybe move and, and move around. So. This is much better in terms of we know that the center of the magnetic pressure is here and of the n level tor and the magnetic pressure here and here of the n minus one level tor and that uh, that has around it a uh, a apple that will glow, a torus that will glow very hard and this overall sphere here which, as you can see, is above the main areas that a human could walk into here in the device. So with that said, I will say thank you to uh, Zdeněk Brezda for pointing this out to me. And uh, it fits much, much more comfortably with the understanding that we have grown, that this, in fact, here is a depressurization zone it's pulling the energy within this area into the main part of the structure and up to here. And as Tesla pointed out, this and this and this, these are the areas of maximum pressure. And if you do move that down, then you'll get your ball lightning forming and destroying the apparatus. So thank you very much for your time and I will see you in the next video.